Hello, welcome. I'm Veronica, the heart dietitian. And today I wanted to talk to you about um, eating after a stent placement. So a stent is um, usually done with an angioplasty, which means it's a procedure that is done to help widen our arteries. So a lot of the time our arteries um, can be narrowed because of plaque buildup around the artery walls. And because of that, um, the blood flow, there's not a lot of flow that um, the blood can go into. So we want to widen that so that it's um, easier for our blood to flow throughout our body. And in order to do that, usually a stent is placed there to help to, to keep that wide. And so a lot of uh, the time I get questions about what do I eat now that I have a stent? And I think the, the goal, I guess, after a stent is to try to reduce the buildup of plaque around the artery walls so that, you know, another stent doesn't have to be placed. So in order to reduce the buildup, we want to manage our cholesterol as well as our blood pressure. And there's a few ways of eating that can do that. One way is the Mediterranean dietary pattern. Another one is called the DASH diet. I don't know if you've heard of that, but it DASH is an acronym that stands for, uh, D stands for diet, and then A stands for approaches, and S stands for stop, and H stands for hypertension. So it's a dietary approaches to stop hypertension diet or a uh, way of eating that helps to reduce blood pressure. So we have the Mediterranean diet, the DASH diet, the vegan and vegetarian diets have some strong research to the help that um, can show a reduction of the cholesterol buildup or the plaque buildup around the artery walls. And uh, finally, the portfolio diet is another way of eating that can help to reduce the cholesterol. So there's a, a few ways that you know you, you can eat um, to help with the the, or the a few ways to eat after you've had a stent placement. Um, and I guess it just depends on your dietary preferences. You know, if you wanted to um, go vegan and vegetarian, that's up to you and your personal preference. And if, you know, your family's on board um, or perhaps it may be the Mediterranean diet that includes a little bit of animal meat to, can be more sustainable for you. So that's something that you need to decide for yourself. But there are a lot of different foods that overlap in all of these dietary patterns or ways of eating. And uh, I have a blog post that kind of summarizes the 15 common uh, foods that you should be eating after a, a stent placement. So one of the biggest foods that I recommend is oats, eating more oats. And oats are something that um, has a super rich in soluble fiber. It's called beta glutamine and oats are rich in soluble fiber and this soluble fiber helps to remove some of the bile acids from our intestines so instead of our bile acids being reabsorbed into our system it kind of helps to take them out with the waste so when we go to the washroom it helps us to excrete extra bile acids and because of that our body needs to make more bile and in order to do that, cholesterol is one of those molecules that are needed to, to make cholesterol or to make bile, sorry. So by removing the bile, we can actually use some of the cholesterol that we have in our system to make more bile. And that helps to manage our cholesterol levels or lower our cholesterol levels. So I think oats are like my number one food to start eating if you're not doing so already. Uh, another food that I recommend is olive oil. So olive oil is super rich in unsaturated fatty acids. And those um, are the type of fats that we want to eat more of because they help to lower our cholesterol levels. But they also have a lot of antioxidants and polyphenols in it uh, that have also been you know, shown to help reduce um, cholesterol, but also a risk of heart disease. So not only cholesterol, but also inflammation. So I think that's, um, that's helpful as well. And then finally, another whole grain that I really like to promote is something called barley. And barley, again, is similar to the oats because it is high in that soluble fiber. So it's, again, that type of fiber that can help to eliminate some of that extra bile, which then 
helps us use our extra cholesterol in making more bile for our body and have, helps to lower our overall cholesterol levels. So I think, you know, North Americans are not eating enough fiber to begin with, but specifically this soluble fiber and something like oats, barley, and even beans and legumes, you know, are some of our plant proteins um, are really, really rich sources of soluble fiber that can help to, to reduce it. So I have a whole list of 15 top foods to try out for yourself, um, but I just listed three here. That's oats, olive oil, and barley. So uh, I'll leave the blog post below. Uh, please check it out and let me know what you think. And if you have any other comments or any other foods that you think are heart healthy that should be featured, I'd love to hear. So leave a comment below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. I'd love to have you along and keep you updated on um, any other videos that I have to release. So thanks for being here. Bye for now.